Hi, this is JP LaForest from Studio JPEG. In this video, I will be doing a review of this Canon RC-6 radio control remote. It's a very simple device, but it can come in quite handy at times. So it works with an infrared transmitter in front. You have a simple button that you press here. You have to point it towards the camera. And then in the back, you have a switch one and two for the two different modes it comes in. What I find nice about this is depending if you're in still or video mode in your camera, the remote will act differently. So I'll start if you're in still mode. The two options you have in the back, one and two, one will enable you to take a picture immediately. So as soon as you press, the shutter releases and the picture gets taken. And the second mode is you press it and the camera is going to wait a few seconds and then it's going to take the picture. And the reason that's nice is, let's say you're taking a group picture or something like that and you want to be part of it, then you can use the remote, you can activate, lower and hide the remote and then take the picture so you look normal. You don't have a picture of yourself pointing the remote at the camera. So that's what I find really nice about that mode. And when you're in video mode, lately I've been using it to adjust the camera and focus in between videos and in between different takes and all that. So what I do is the first mode or actually it's labeled in reverse. So mode one is going to take a picture. So right now I'm in video mode. As you can see, that takes a picture of me. It does focus and everything. So if you're taking videos of yourself, that's a great way to activate the focus on your camera and your lens because the Canon T2i does not have autofocus during videos. So that way in the beginning of the video, I start the video, I focus it, I do my clapper and I'm good to go. The second option it has is to start and stop the video. I'm not gonna use it now because it would end the video, but very simply, I can start and stop the video while sitting down here without having to go to the camera and do it. The only downside with this setup is with the T2i camera, it does not have a swivel screen, so I cannot see what the camera is seeing right now. So what I tend to do is I take a test shot, then I go look to see if I like the composition and the focusing and all that. If everything is fine, then I start filming. And if not, I try changing something and so on and so forth until I get the right composition that I like. As for compatibility, this remote is compatible with a lot of different Canon cameras. All of the Rebel series is included from the first Rebel all the way to the T4i and then some other cameras too, such as the 5D Mark II, 5D Mark III, the 7D, 60D, and a new Canon EOS M mirrorless camera. So it's a great little remote to have. It's gonna last you a lot, a really long time. Uh, the battery is built into this. I don't know, there seems to be a screw here and a little thing here that I think you can pop the battery out. Uh, it's lasted me for over two years now. I don't use it quite a lot, but um, but yeah, the battery life on this is really good. I'm guessing it's one of those little watch batteries or something like that. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting. If you liked the video, please click like. If you would like to see more of my videos, please click subscribe. Please leave comments, questions, suggestions in the box below. And have a great day. I'll see you next time.